Hi everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial on tutorial sheet 3, question 2. So this question is saying find uh, the real part of Z and the imaginary part of Z. So in short, it's just asking us to simplify these questions, which is very much straightforward. So I'm going to start with this one. So Z is equal to I over 3 minus I. Actually, since the question is here, I don't need to copy it again. Let me just try to go direct. So when I multiply this I times 1, I'll, I'll get the same I here. And then when I multiply, uh, when I multiply this 3 minus I times that, I'll get something like this. So 2 plus 3 I. This is what I'll get. So what I'll do again is this. So I will be there. Then I'll do this. This 3 times everything there. I'll multiply this 3 times 2 plus 3i. And then this negative i again will multiply with everything there. So negative i will multiply with uh, 2 plus 3i. So as simple as that. So this is what we are going to have. So we can now simplify this. On top there, I'll still write the same i like that. Then divide by. This 3 times uh, 2, I'll get a 6. Then this 3 times 3i, three I'll get a plus 9i plus 9i. Again, negative i times 2. I'm getting negative 2i. And then this negative i times 3i. Remember what we said in the previous tutorials that I was teaching. This i times i. We know to say i times i. i times i. The answer is negative 1. Coming from we, we know to say this i is just the same as uh, the root of negative 1. And then we know that uh, the root of negative 1 times the root of negative 1, you get your final answer as negative 1, since these squares will cancel. Yeah. So you get, the root, you get negative 1. So when we say negative uh, i times... Uh, this i, you get a positive 1. Because there is this negative and, and there is another negative that is coming from i times i. Which you, which you multiply and give you a positive number. So instead of getting negative 3, we'll have positive 3 this side. So let's continue from here. So equals. Then i, there will still remain on top. Then you add this 6 plus 3 there, you get your answer to be 9. And then 9 minus 2, your answer will be 7i. So here we have, we have reached here. It's now ideal for us to use the principle of a conjugate. So a conjugate, remember what I said, it's just uh, these same things, you just change the sign there. So so my conjugate here will be 9 instead of a minus there I'll put a plus 7 i I'll put a plus 7 i so this same denominator here is what you put there and remember what I said this is just the same as a special one it's just nothing but one because when you divide this by this you get a one which is just the same as adding nothing to that so when we multiply that you get your answer to be so 9 times i i'll get uh, 9i 
9 times i i'll get 9i and then this i times 7i remember what we said i times i we're going to get a negative one so times 7 we're going to get negative 7 as our answer there so we move on to the denominator and remember this is a difference of two squares this is a 9 9 and then there's a minus there's a plus there's 7i there's positive i 7i there you can uh, if you want you can you you, you can just uh, expand it in the normal way the way you expand the uh, functions where you say 9 multiplying with everything there and negative 7i multiplying with everything there but since i've seen that this is a difference of two squares it will be simpler for me to just say 9 squared so 9 squared and then minus 7i of course in brackets and then squared so what i'm going to find here is the same answer that you can find when you multiply it or when you expand it the normal way so this is what we're going to get our answer as our answer so 9i minus 7 and then over so 9 squared your answer will get as negative 9 there oh sorry negative oh, sorry positive 49 and then when you multiply this i'll put minus there this minus and then i'll put 7 squared this squared is ap applying to both 7 and i so 7 squared my answer will be oh sorry 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 let me do this so 9 squared is supposed to be 8 to 1 sorry 9 squared is supposed to be 8 to 1 and then minus 7 squared is the one that is supposed to give us 49 and then i squared will give us negative 1 so now you have something like this 9 let me write it properly you have something like this 9i minus 7 over so this is 8 to 1 8 to 1 minus negative 1 times negative so it will change it to be plus 49 when you add the denominators there you discover that your answer will be something like 130 so we're going to have something like this 9i over 130 over 130 and then this is minus 7 so this one we split them now so splitting them will give us 9 over 130 9 over 130 i minus 7 over 130 so in this case if you want you can even swap them now you write them in the way they are normally written which is negative 7 over 130 and then positive uh, 9 over one third yes we can even now conclude to say the real part of z so the real part of our z the real part the real part of my z there so this is just z so the real part of my z there will be this negative 7 over 130 negative 7 over 130 and then the imaginary part of z i m the imaginary part of z is nothing but this one i've forgotten to put i there is a uh, 9 over 1 third. this is the imaginary part 
so thank you very much for watching oh let's solve this let's solve the second one as well so the second one is saying uh, z is equal to 1 over 1 plus i this is denoted as 2 so saying z is equal to 1 on the middle there and then we have 1 plus i 1 plus i 1 minus 2 i 3 plus 3 1 plus 3 i so we have 1 plus i and then we have 1 minus is it 1 minus 2 i and then 1 plus 3 i have 1 minus 2 i then 1 plus 3 i so even this one it is just a matter of simplifying the question there then you are even done so 1 i'll write it there and then over so when I multiply this 1 times everything here, I'll get 1 times 1 there, I'll get 1. 1 times negative 2i, I'll get my negative 2i there. And then I'll come to this one, positive i, positive i times 1, I'll get positive i. And then positive i times negative 2i. Of course, this i times this i will give a negative. So, we need to multiply with that and I'll have a positive to this side. So, I'll put them in brackets like that. And this one, remember, I've not yet multiplied it. Not yet used it. So, it still remains like that. So z is equal to uh, so this one plus two you get three so let me just write this so one plus two you get three and then negative i negative two i plus i you get negative i then open brackets this is 1 plus 3i so 1 plus 3i you do the same way that I'm just from doing to question 1 so 3 times i or 3 times 1 you get your answer there 3 and then 3 times 3 you get your 9i there you come to this one negative i times one you get negative i and then negative i times three i you get positive three so be careful with i squared wherever you see i squared you take care of it properly so three plus three you get a six as your answer and then nine minus i 9i minus i you get uh, you get 8i so this will be positive 8i so now from here we need now to introduce the conjugate so the conjugate of this is nothing but 6 you just change the sign there so it's nothing but 6 minus 8i and then you also do the same on top like I always say this is just the same as the special one it's just as adding it's just the same as adding nothing to uh, this expression there so you equals write your equal sign there so I'll write my z there z is equal to so this it will be 6 minus 8i when you multiply 1 times everything there you get the same thing like that and then here 
on the denominator remember this is a difference of two squares so I'm going to say c squared then minus you open the brackets 8i squared 8i squared so you do that now you can simplify the expression eight i squared over so this is six squared is thirty six and then eight i squared is negative uh, sixty four so negative sixty four times negative there you have a positive sixty four so we're going to have thirty six here and then plus 64 64 like that which is just the same as 6 uh, minus 8i when you add the denominator there you get your answer as 100 So you can even now split it. So my z is equal to. So my z is equal to uh, six divided by hundred. You get your answer reduced to its lowest form. As uh, let me just split them in advance before I even do that. Minus is 8i over 100 and then z is equal to so this is 6 and this is 6 sorry so 6 divided by 100 when you reduce it is just the same as 3 over 50 and then minus 8 over 100 is just the same as uh, 2 over 25 when you reduce it to its lowest form so now the real part of z the real part of z is now equal to 3 over 50 and then the imaginary part and then the imaginary part the imaginary part of z is this part which is negative negative 2 over 25 so this is the imaginary part of z thank you very much for watching the video so just make sure that you subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions please you are free to ask on this line on whatsapp see you in the next tutorial video shalom